Well, wait. Oh, it didn't queue us. What the hell? There we go. I guess if we get Warzone, it uncues us for that. Well, time to go again. Queue sell out. If it's if it's the same one, I'll just I'll just leave while we're recording because you can just right click leave. It's really fast. It's super super fast, man. Super fast. So crazy. So crazy. Drone on cost. Jeez, it's so dark. Well, there's the there's What's cost the city. Cost city's pretty cool. Oh, apparently but... it's always this gloomy. Lovely. Okay. Oh, oh, we got that. We actually got the flashpoint. Wow. They're gonna be really pissed at me because they don't like you doing. Because this one's a weird one dungeon where there's actually like talking, which I like the. It's uh, it's hard to explain, but people get annoyed whenever you listen to the talking in this. And they usually leave, because it can be very long if everybody's listening to the like, cutscenes. But, since we haven't been here yet, sorry teammates, but we have to do it. I hope you guys can suck it up, you know, wait for me, go listen to some Netflix in the background, whatever you have to do. That's what I usually do, I listen to a video in the background, so I can do I don't really care, I don't really pay attention. I'm just like, yep, mm-hmm, yep, 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 this guy's listening to it, don't care. But I guess I guess there's people out there that actually play MMOs and don't listen to something in the background. That's nuts. That's freaking crazy. You're crazy, man. You're crazy, man. You you nuts. A two-player group is recommended. Oh yeah, you can two-man this one. I did. I two-man this one with a friend. It's it's a lot harder, but it's possible. It's possible. So we gotta wait for what's his face to get on in here. The one guy that's not playing. He entered. Cybrobot. I'm a cat. Everybody else is probably a Jedi. Most people. Hey, wait! No, we got a, we got a guy who's uh. Oh, he left. Lol. We'll tell the captain that I'll be back on the bridge as soon as I've done his errand. Yes, sir. Good to have you aboard. I'm Lieutenant Silas, second in command of the Black Talon. We're your ride to Drom and Cass. It's a pleasure. Truly. Indeed. Welcome. It's not a comfortable ship, but as transports go, it does its job. On our present course, we should arrive at the capital within a day. Won't be any trouble. I should also add on behalf of everyone, it's an honor to service the Sith and the Korriban Academy. Consider yourself our guest. Your respect for the Sith is admirable, Lieutenant. Thank you, my lord. I'm the Empire's loyal servant. I won't keep you further. When we arrive in the Dromund system, I'll have you informed. In the meantime, your droid's in the conference room. We picked it up with the upgrades from Geonosis. When we docked here, it mentioned your names. If my droid's waiting, then I should see what it wants. Feel free to bother the crew if you need anything else. I'll be on the bridge. And you, soldier, when you're done playing honor guard, get back to your post. This isn't a luxury yacht. Yes, sir. So basically, you can see like them talking. If you're in a group and they do your, your like you do quest together or done any type of dialogue, it basically rolls upon everybody, and whoever gets the highest roll, you get to see them them talk, and then you get social points. With social points, I you can buy armor with. Good day. I'm Advanced Protocol Unit NRO2. My functions are diplomacy, translation, manslaughter, and calumniation. I have an urgent message for you from my master. Please stand by for delivery. You have my complete, undivided attention. This is Unit NRO2 to Grand Moff Kilrin. You are now in contact with the Black Talon. Well, so I am. And it seems you have brought me just the people I've been looking for. My name is Rikus Kilrin. I'm commander of the Fifth Fleet, second to the Minister of War, and my personal favorite, the so-called Butcher of Coruscant. Something wrong with the hologram? Or is your face supposed to look like that? The scars? They're an old gift from a Jedi friend. I barely notice them anymore. Six hours ago, the Republic engaged in an illegal border skirmish on the edges of Imperial territory. One enemy warship escaped. That warship, the Brentle Star, is carrying a passenger of vital strategic importance. Yours is the only vessel placed to intercept. What do you want me to do? I'll explain in a moment. The warship's passenger is codenamed the General. We don't know his identity, but the Republic believes he possesses military secrets, our military secrets. I trust the reports. The General must be captured or killed. Captain Orzik 
The man commanding your transport doesn't share my enthusiasm. He's disobeyed my orders to attack. Feel free to show him what the Empire does to cowards. Then commandeer his ship, find the Brentle Star, and deal with the General. Right now, I'm more interested in getting to Droman Kars. I do sympathize, but you'll find that while you're operating in Imperial space, our needs sometimes take priority. The General will be dead or in custody by day's end. If he's not, I assure you, your ship will never reach port. I will lead the way to the bridge. Once Captain Orsic is deposed and our hijacking is complete, we may proceed to the Brentall Star. Excellent. Then I will proceed. A cool thing about this, um, is that... Um... <clears throat> well, hang on, we got another cutscene. Halt! This is a restricted area. Captain Orzik's command. You'll have to leave immediately. Looks like it's your turn to die now. Blasters out! Attack! Attack! Oh crap, we're attacking... We're attacking our own guys, okay. Right then. Oh, they're attacking me? What the hell? I'm not even the tank. I'm not the tank, I swear! Burn, baby, burn! Rail shot. Power shot. Ooh. Hits 100. Um, basically, the... This is like a weird one where the Galactic and the Republic, or the Republic and the Empire have like different, a different intro dungeon. This is like the first dungeon that you do. Um, and there's, like, you're on the defending side and basically ours is the attacking side. So they have two different stories, but they each involve the same character, like, okay, so you know how we're attacking the Republic ship? Well, you're on the ship that's getting attacked by these guys, you and are like about you're. The loss of life, I assure you, the deaths of all injured crew members will be strategically insignificant. But you're like talking to the. Uh... You're like that guy that was on the thing. Like you're talking to him as well because he's evil and he like hops on. It's. Yeah, you'll ha you'll you'll know what I'm talking about if you played the game. I'll just shut up because I can't explain it any better than that. I suck at explaining things. <laughs> I guess this guy's not coming to play. The Cybrobot. She's not our healer anyway, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You know what? Our missile doesn't do that. Power Shot seems to do more freaking heat. Or take up more heat than all of our other stuff. Wait for me, guys! Wait for me! Which I'm glad that it looks like they're uh, watching the cutscenes too, which is nice. Because usually you get that one guy who's just like, Come on, Jeez, come on, stupid. Jeez. Burn him. Well, you killed him too fast. Yeah, you can't kill him. We're attacking our own men. Huh. Interesting. Okay, then. Let's commandeer this shit. All Marines have been neutralized, scanning for additional threats. What's going on? Sir, stay calm, Ensign. Everyone stay calm. No threats found. The bridge is now secure. If you want to live, do exactly what I say. Hands off the consoles. You've got our attention. I can handle this, Lieutenant. I'm Captain Revenant Orzik. I'm pretty sure I know what this is about. For the record, I take complete responsibility for my actions. I understand, Captain. If nothing else, that should make it easier on the crew. I'm glad it's worth something. You're here because of the Moth, aren't you? You must want the Brental Star's passenger pretty badly. Or maybe he just hates me. The Black Talon would be destroyed chasing a battleship. I fought in the war before and I'll fight again, but I don't do suicide missions. Suicide was deciding you could ignore your superiors. Oh. The captain's dead! The captain's dead! Shut up! You have our attention, my lord. What would you have us do? Let this be a lesson. Your only hope for survival is complete and utter loyalty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In accordance with Article 27A of the Imperial Code of Military Conduct, command of this vessel has been lawfully transferred. New orders are being downloaded to your consoles. Priority one. Intercept the Brentall Star. Pekara, do as the droid says and prepare to jump to light speed. 
Emerging from hyperspace now. One Thranta class warship on the scanners. Powering up. Enemy is firing. Turbo lasers, missiles, and what looks like transport pods. I'm not sure. The pods are a distraction. Return fire. Aim for their power generators. So long as they're damaged, we're not. We have the advantage. Lieutenant. Captain Silas, sir. Engineering is reporting blaster fire. They just cut out. Continue the assault. I'll deal with the droids. I'll notify security. And don't worry. We won't let those Republic scum get away. <laughs> I don't even know why we we're killing our own men. I, I should have paid attention. I'll go back and watch it. Then I'll know. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, there's the freaking classic sound. Well, time to go commandeer the... Oh, my God. They... Okay, they've... Hit our ship with pods. Bring it on, bitches. I'm burning droids. Because fire totally hurts them. Like, totally. Holy crap, this is crazy. So much explosives. So many explosives. Well, I hope you guys like missiles. We're killing them so fast, I can barely even hit them. I like it, though. Killing things is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I just hicked up, hick, hicked up, hicked, hiccuped. What am I? Yeah, the engine room. Oh snap! Oh god, I just did it again. Oh no, I got the hiccups. What the heck? I don't think I've ever had the hiccups while recording. This is like the first time. What the hell? I need to hold my breath. It actually works. Holding your breath works for me, I don't know why. Anyone read me? This is engineering, we have an emergency. Please respond. The droids locked us out of the control room. They're sabotaging the engine. It's a lore object. Hang on, I gotta get the lore object. There we go. Got it. We're good now. Let's get out of here. Ooh, a blue item. What a drop. <gasps> oh, that's not for me. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, we got some droids that actually take some fire, eh? Well then, that's my favorite toy. <laughs> Still didn't last very long. Where are we going? We going down here? Oh, oh, that looks cool. Continuing on. <laughs> we don't have time to look at it. What the hell was that? The engineers got killed. Oh, come on, let's kill this guy. Come on. Over here. Turn around, guys. There's a bit. Why do I keep doing that? I keep like. There's one of my buttons is screwing me over. Oh, crap! That is a bigger droid than I remember. Okay. Oh, I can do rail shot. Rail shot him! Okay, I, I'm overheated. Okay, now, now, down, down. Now do it! And do some of this! Death from above, bitch! This is Lieutenant Silas. If you can hear this, please return to the bridge. We need you. Sweet, I got new boots. Did I win those boots? I better have won those boots, damn it. Nobody needs name or aim. I need aim. Okay, it's not the roll's not over yet. What's this? Oh, what are we doing? Are oh, you getting healed? Oh, what the hell is that? She just like healed herself. Okay. Well, still nobody rolled on those boots yet. It's cuz that guy's not freaking playing. Why enter a dungeon? And not play. That doesn't make any sense. I hate those people. Freaking hate them. Whatever. We don't need them. We're doing fine without them. I just want those damn boots. I am behind. Wait up. No! You decided to go into a dungeon and not play. Screw you, pal. Suck my D. And now we have to wait for him. Oh my god. We have to wait for that bastard. Come on. Just go. <laughs> oh, God. He's all the way at the beginning. Oh, I won the roll, though, at least. Yes, new boots. Yes. Look at my big white boots. Oh, my God. Let's try to unify those colors. Please work. Okay, good. Uh, took Unified colors is a nice thing. If you get like really weird like white stuff like that and your armor doesn't look anything like that, you can unify your colors. Basically, make it blend. We still have to wait for this guy. Come on. Let's just go. Just let us 
go. He, it's his fault for not freaking playing, entering a dungeon and not doing anything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. He's not even moving. He's going the wrong way. Oh my god. He doesn't even know where he's going. Okay, there he goes. God. This is crap. Just let us do it. Why do we have to wait? There should be like a time limit. Just let us freaking do this. I better get a huge reward for doing this. I don't think there's no... I see credits. Zero credits. What about this one? Get an unsecured box. Planetary commendation. A commendation. Commendation, eh? Alright, where is he looking? He's going the wrong... Oh my god. Okay, so... So, I voted to kick him. Um, and I need to... I need to sync up here, so... One... Two... Three. Okay, so yeah, I voted to kick him. Cause... Dude is all the way at the freaking beginning of the game. So we only have to wait seven seconds. Like, come on, dude. Why join and then just leave? I hate that so much. Good. Thank you. Waiting on the okay, thank you. Damage reports from all decks. We're holding together, sir, but I don't know for how long. Make sure it's long enough, Ensign. Your life and career are at stake. Please stand alert. Grand Moth Kilran's representatives have returned. Congratulations, my lord. Security reports that the sabotage droids have been destroyed. Fill me in on the situation. Oh, please. Please don't kill us. Shut up, Ensign, or I'll kill you myself. We've penetrated the Brental Star's outer defenses. Their next assault won't come until we enter fighter range. Another minute, maybe two. Transmission coming in. Long range. It's a message. But it's not from the Brental Star. Don't leave me hanging. I'll patch the message through immediately. This is Jedi Grandmaster Satil Shan hailing unidentified Imperial vessel. I'm en route to your location with 16 Republic vessels. I'm asking you to retreat before more lives are lost. Disregard the transmission. Continue closing on the Brental Star. Understood. Maintaining course and speed. The Brental Star is under my protection. Our convoy was ambushed and I sent the star ahead. We will reunite. I just crippled three Imperial Dreadnoughts. I don't wish to destroy you. The peace between Republic and Empire is fragile enough already. What about the stolen secrets aboard the Brental Star? Is the General upholding the peace? The General can speak for himself, but I believe he does work for peace. Incidents like this are happening across the galaxy, but only because we let them. Leave the Brentel Star to me. If you don't, then may the Force be with you. Because the men and women aboard that ship can hold you off until we arrive. And you will be defeated. Are you still yammering? You've made yourself clear. But I suggest you prepare to face a Jedi. And you may want to consider what that means. Entering fighter range. The Brentel Star is launching its first squadron. All right. Now we're close enough to fly in and send a raiding party. I assume you're going. Time for you to see what a Sith can do. Before you go, you should know something. Most of the Marines will back you up, but we had to execute a few for refusing to fight. They were terrified after what happened to the Captain. They panicked. They're dead now, anyway. We did retrieve their equipment. It's yours. We're doing our very best to serve you, I swear. I sure hope you're not gonna cry. Ignore him. I'll make sure he doesn't trouble you in the future. I advise that you proceed to the shuttle bay. The flight to the Brentall Star may be hazardous, but Grand Moff Kilran has complete faith in your abilities. Ha! She thinks I'm afraid of a freaking Sith? I don't think so. I eat Sith for br or wait, not- I eat Jedi for breakfast! <laughs> Sorry, Sith, I don't eat you, I swear. I promise. Only, okay, maybe a little bit. I am a cat, after all. I am a man-eating cat. I'm sorry. They're just so delicious! Filled up with all that force. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm And sometimes they are full of, like, lightning and electricity, and it just fries it up and makes it all toasty. Mm-mm. Freaking delicious! We're going aboard their shuttle. 
I really hope we face a Jedi. Oh boy, will I kill it. Like no tomorrow. I will kill it a lot. I will kill it so hard. They'll rot. I don't even know what I was going I suck at winning those conversations, too. And they put me behind those two like I'm the big fat oath protector. I, I, it made me feel cool. I was behind them and they're just two short little girls and I'm just behind them like, Oh yeah, look at me. I'm feared angel, bitch. Oh boy. Wait for me, guys. Wait, what are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting them. Bring it on, hobos. I said hobos, not homos. It came out as an M, I swear. I didn't say hobos. I said hobos. Or I meant to say hobos. Anyways. Blowing these fools up. They can't handle the freaking explosives. <laughs> I am an arsenal. I have an arsenal of missiles. Missiles. I guess we're going this way. I, there's a door over there that looked like it could be open. But I guess we're not going over there. Oh, you're coming around. I'm going to rocket punch you. Whoa! 234. That actually hits harder than my missile. I don't know why I say missile. I always say missile, but now I'm saying missile. God, I've been playing, like, too much Brit Brit British games. Missile. I'm not gonna rail shot him? Okay. Whatever. Ha! Big droid at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> you think I'm scared. Yeah, I got an explosive dart on you. Rail shot. Missile. I wish. I hope I get some stuff at the like later on that like helps with my heating problem. I hope so. Cause I've got a heating problem. Missile. Wait, wait for me, guys. Wait. They left me behind, man. Don't ever leave me behind. Like I said, this is a very long one because it's a lot of talking. It's like, I think, well then again, I've only had, my max level is like level 20, so I've only seen like one other one, which that one only had like one, like maybe two dialogue, so I think it's just this one. This is like a very long dungeon. Bonus stage complete. Oh, we gotta finish 25 more. We should, I wanna get that bonus. Hey, it's a hollow terminal. Oh, we have to do that anyways. Okay. Let's burn him. Burn, baby, burn. And my heat is back up. Frail shot. He does not die. Oh, he's the star security, huh? Well, he dead. He drop. Up something good? No. Lame. This is Protocol Unit NRO2. I hope you're receiving this message clearly, and that your flight was free of incident. Please hold for security coordinator Ensign Brukhara. The Marines are on their way. They'll follow you in and hold each junction you secure. Try not to take too long. We're not a military ship. What you have is all you're getting. I don't need an army. I can handle this myself. Yes, but... I understand. I have been scanning the Brenton Star's communications, and security forces appear to be moving to protect the escape pods. It is extremely likely that the crew is attempting to evacuate the General. You must retrieve or eliminate him before he escapes. I don't need a droid telling me how to do things. Understood. I am simply looking after Grand Moff Kilrin's interests. I will be in contact if the situation changes. Proceed to assault all defense points between you and the target. Get to the engine deck. Oh, are we gonna blow the engine? Blow the engine away! Hope you like me- Oh, snap. Well. My heat's too far up. Gah! I can't do crap any... I don't know, heat... I don't know, I'll have to see later. Maybe we'll get some good passive abilities. It'll be like, hey! Blah blah blah, bonus to your something. You know what time it is? It's time for Death From Above! Which is freaking awesome, if I may say. We need to kill 14 more. They must die! to fire? What are you guys firing at? You firing at my ship? Don't do it. Don't do it, man. I'm warning you. Don't mess with my ship. 
Well, I, that's my only way to drum and cost. So I have to get there, man. You're speaking to a special forces commander, Meat. Show some respect. What? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Oh, oh, I see him. The commander. Oh, so, you think you're tough meat? Ah, part of me was hoping you'd try to board this ship. Hey, this guy is on the Alliance one. He's like the... Well, he's like the second main character on the... Did I say Alliance? The Republic ones. I've been playing too much World of Warcraft, I'm sorry. I just now finished it. Probably won't play it again for a while. Played way too much of it. Some, are we gonna get some help over here? I need a third person. No? Hello? Guys? There's still a commander over here. Don't worry, I'll solo him. No, it's fine. It's fine, guys. No, no, it's fine, I swear. I promise. Healing, maybe? Just a little bit? No? I'll heal myself then. Damn it. Gotta do everything around here. For the Brintle Star! For, for the Brintle Star. It's just a damn ship. It's not like, you know, your life is just for the ship. Come on. Let's be honest here. What am I, the freaking tank? Jeez. I wasn't built for this, okay? Whatever. I'll just keep attacking. I can't do anything else besides use my freaking main move, anyways. Let's see. Willpower's not for me. Endurance. Or wait, that's cunning. Cunning's not for me either. Damn! Well, at least we got the boots. That's the plus, I will say that. The boots were was a nice little little bonus we got here. Alright, we need to kill three more dudes. We must find three more dudes. There's a dude. Kill the dude. The dude must die. The dude is dead. I repeat, the dude is dead. Um, uh, I'm not gonna waste any. I'm gonna get my heat down. Bonus disable. Oh, we're dis disabling something. Oh, we gotta go to the engine deck. Forget about that. Oh, okay. Brintle Star Corporal. Lol. I laugh at thee. I, I need to be careful with what I use. I'm trying to like think. What? Um, I got a bit like the missiles. Can't use that. Rail shots, not very much. Flamethrowers, a lot. You just, I gotta be careful for now, because not being able to use crap is terrible. Terrible. Terrible, I tell you. Oh, we gotta disable some stuff. Gotta dis. Oh, I see. Gotta disable some stuff, and we get a bonus. Bonuses are good. Everybody lacks them some bonuses. Let's burn some guys. Burn, baby, burn. Disable it. Let's get that bonus. Bonuses are good. Power shot. I don't know if power shot's good. I think my unload is probably better. Level 12, everybody! Holy balls! Holy balls! Okay, so let's put it on this. Reduce the pushback ever while activating power shack and gust. Blah blah blah. Eh. Or I could get aim. I think that increases my damage. I feel like getting that. Let's do it. All right, we need to disable one more right here. There we go. Bonus objective complete. All right, where are we going? How do we? We gotta go this way. Oh! Defeat- Oh! Okay! Right, how much health do you have? Dude, he has kind of a lot of health, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie! Yeah, I gotta be careful with that miss missile blast. It's not safe. It's not a safe move to use. I can use it like once in a while. I can't spam it. That's bad. Oh god, he is unloading on me! Holy hell! Careful there, dude! Oh my god! Holy crap! He's unloading on me! I pissed him off. I guess I'm doing just so much freaking damage. 
freaking nuts. Holy crap, and our healer's not playing. I gotta heal myself. Eh, got it. There. I guess I'm just doing so much freaking damage. <gasps> yeah! Oh, wait, we're using two pistols. Forgot about that. Okay, so, never mind. Greed. Forget that we're using two pistols. We don't use a shield. <laughs> um, our healer's not playing. Great, so... Guess we could two-man this. Let's do it. Let's do this thing! Let me burn all these guys over here. Hope they like them some fire. I'm dying. Healing myself. And they should just be a healer. <laughs> yeah, our healer, I think, lagged out. It's not good. Yeah, she lagged out. Oh, boy. Well, I guess I can get Mako. Wait, no. No, no, no. Summon her. Summon her, damn it. Yes, summon her. Can't do that. Well, what? Oh, we're on combat. Summon her. There we go. I'm back. Summoned her so she can heal us. Try to be more careful. Second healing, you know. It's pretty good. Okay, she's back. Good. Let's do this. Oh, look at all that damage. That's, that's so good. It's so freaking good. There, now we have two healers. We got Mako out. I forgot about my story. I have no idea. I know we're in like a great hunt and we're like, gotta enter a great hunt and it's like you basically kill each other and the universe. I don't know. It's pretty a cool concept though. I won't lie. It's a cool ass concept. Oh, the door to escape pod. It's taking a while to load. The escape pods aren't far now. You can make it on your own, General. And what about you? I will face my destiny. Go now, my friend. Halt where you are. I am Yadira Ban, Padawan of the Jedi Order. I was sent to protect the General, and you will not pass. Lady, consider yourself a former member of the living. I will not fall to one such as you. I will not! <laughs> That's funny. You may because, run, you, you know. Stand your ground, but you'll go no farther. Because, you know, in my mind, I... You aren't going to win oh. this. I swear it. What the hell was that? I'm not going to win this, huh? Well, I beg to differ, lady. Yadira Ban. Consider yourself a former Jedi, because after today, after now... Can, okay, can we get her off of that? You Thank you very much. You aren't going to win this. I swear I need it. To do some of the, need to do some of this. Wait. Too close. Oh, you can't freaking do it while you're that close. Okay, do it. Keep her in there. Yeah, no, damn it. You're, you're supposed to keep her. Okay, come on. Get. You aren't going to win this. I swear it. I'm not gonna win this. I'm not gonna win this. Look how close you are and look how close we are to dying. Okay? I think it speaks for itself. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Mako's such a good healer. You're such a good healer, Mako. Not gonna lie. Makes me jealous. I'm you like, I wish I could be I as good it. as a... Wow. Easiest Jedi ever. Nothing for me. Well, at least, uh, what's-her-face got a new, uh, saber. Okay. Well, both Inquisitors, actually. Well, no one's a healer, so... What's-her-face got a new one. Congratulations! Yeah, where's that Master Jedi? That was just a Padawan. Where's the... She She is actually the leader... Leading Jedi, actually. That that um, Jedi we saw in the Holocron on our old ship. Holocron. That is actually, like, the, the head... The Master of the Jedi Order at the moment. And then Malgus is the leader of the Sith. 
So, yeah. Oh, look, it's the general. Hey, general. You can put aside your weapons. I won't try to run. Besides, I doubt I'd make it to an escape pod without my intestines spilling out. I take it you're the general. Grand Moff Kilrun sent me to find you. Kilrun did? Of course. He would have the gall to send a transport to take on a warship and succeed. I was a general in the Imperial Military Service. Did they tell you that when they sent you here? Did they even know? Believe whatever you want. It doesn't change your fate. If you knew what I knew, you'd understand. If you'd heard what both sides are plotting, you wouldn't be eager to restart this war. They're building doomsday weapons, shields that envelop planets, missiles that darken suns. Republic and Empire are planning to raise worlds. Annihilate civilizations. It will be unlike anything the galaxy's seen since the Great Hyperspace War. Then it's too late to stop it. The so-called peace is already lost. If that's true, why defect the Republic? There's no place for me in the Empire anymore. I thought my last act might be to even the odds, create a stalemate. It doesn't seem to matter anymore. Oh, you have me then? Me, my stomach full of blood, and my implant full of cybernetic secrets and stolen plans. <laughs> what will you do? You're no use to me alive. So be it. We're all as good as dead anyway. She did. Or he did. Goodbye, General. Goodbye, Padawan. Let's get out of here before that Master Jedi comes. You know what? Let's stay here. We'll take her. She probably has like a hundred thousand health, but it's whatever. We could take her. Come on. Let's be honest here. She is nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Nothing but dead. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. This is Protocol Unit NR02. If you are receiving this message, I urge you to return to the Brentall Star as quickly as possible. Heading that way now. Excellent. Please be advised that there has been an incident aboard the bridge. Idiots! You'll get us all damn well killed! Uh-oh. God, we're still not friggin' done. See how long it is? It's friggin' nuts. Even without the talking, I'd say it's pretty friggin' long. Pretty damn long! Oh! Okay, we're all running. We... Well, she has fr They have boots! What the hell? Where are my boots? Rocket boost. I want a rocket boost. What the hell's my rocket boost? It's not cool, man. I want a rocket boost. <laughs> wait, guys, wait! I don't have rocket boots. I want rocket boots, damn it. Give them to me! Whatever. Dude, I've been looking at the companions we get, because we get like five companions plus our ship bot, which counts as six. Dude, we get a freaking Jawa. Yeah. Yeah. A special Jawa for us. Oh my god. We gotta get to Tatooine. We gotta be, like, hit like level 25. We have to get to that. We, ha we have to. It has to be done. Whatever. Let's do this. Command deck. <laughs> I said dick. <laughs> Sounds like dick. <laughs> Eh, no? Okay. <laughs> Wait! Wait! Oh god, the guards are dead. What the hell? What happened to everything? Welcome back. I'm pleased to see that you have returned whole. I do apologize for the condition of the bridge. As I'd intended to explain earlier, there was an incident. 
There are corpses all over the floor. This is what you call an incident. Several of the crew were extremely agitated by your behavior. Ensign Hedder feared you might execute anyone who failed to contribute to the mission. A group of officers attempted to flee the ship before you returned. Lieutenant Silas objected, and a firefight broke out. There was a large number of casualties, but don't worry, I am fully capable of piloting the ship back to Drummond Kars. Couldn't you have stopped them? I saw no effective way to intervene. Grand Moff Kilrin is eagerly awaiting your report. Should I put him through? Do what you want. Opening channel now. Well, how fortunate I could reach my friends aboard the Black Talon. The droid's been keeping me appraised of your work, but I very much wanted to hear from you. How did the attack go? The Brentel Star has been disabled, and the General is dead. Pity you couldn't bring him back alive, but really it makes little difference. You should be proud. This is only one of the many operations we're conducting across the galaxy. It's a new beginning to the war. The General was one of the greatest weapons the Republic had. A defector. And you've snatched him from enemy hands. I'll remember this, and I'll make sure you're rewarded. Remember my name. Spread it around. I'll make sure your heroism is mentioned when I report to the other Moffs. But my words hardly matter. Soon you'll be joining us on the homeworld, and you can see for yourself what you've been fighting for. It should be inspiring. Enjoy the rest of your journey. Kilrun out. You know, except for the fact that I've already been doing that, I've already been there. Whatever. You can control the ship's destination for the tech course for drama cast? Yes, to go to drama cast. Let's do it. I probably lost. Hopefully I won, but I don't know where we're going. Where do we go? I don't see a planet. That's not good. I should see a de- Okay, good. Drummond costs. Drummond costs. Subscribers receive 500 complement per each month. Attaching a security code- Um, so we get 500 every month, so that 12 months? I want tweak. So, I need like... I need to save up like four months worth of freaking... Cartel points, um, because they added a new companion, which you can have seven now. That's freaking nuts. Um, his name is Tr Treak, or T Treak, yeah, Treak, and it's a freaking Ewok. A he and he heals you. It's a healing Ewok companion. That's amazing. Except, oh, we're done with this. Okay, so off to, oh. Okay, well, see you later, everybody. Um, hang on, I need to quit group. Okay, but um, now that you see our eyes are red, and that's because you guys might notice that we now hit dark one, which means we are going to the dark side. We hit the first alignment in dark, so each tier of your dark... Okay, so you can either go light or dark. Light doesn't really... I don't think it changes your appearance at all. It might make you look a little bit more handsome, but dark changes your appearance. Your eyes... At first, your eyes, like, go dark red, or they go red... And they start get redder and redder, redder, and as your face like becomes like darker, and you get like dark, like black veins, and you look freaking evil. It's pretty sick. So we've hit the first alignment of dark, which means our eyes are not blue anymore. They're freaking. Well, I can't zoom in any farther than that, but they're they're basically they were blue. Now they're like an orangish, and then I think next time they'll go like red, and they just get darker and darker. And our face, as you can see, our face looks a little looks a little dark tint a little bit pretty sweet um and now it needs so now it needs to so it looks like it goes a thousand every one so it'll go and it goes up to five so we'll need five thousand dark points which means a lot of dark decisions or you'll need five thousand light points if you want that too so it's pretty cool um so yeah that was the black talent very long